when when you say those things with the with the violence behind them i mean that that sense of intimidation um do you do that by design i mean clearly there there's no the question you Mike, the guys come into the ring and they are scared to you death only, you only scare people from hitting them you don't scare them from just looking at them and marking them down and tracking them I mean, you have to hit them that's when they come intimidated they're not intimidated once they get hit then they become intimidated why are why are you out running 4 35 o'clock in the morning and not later in the day or why do fighters do that because i don't want to do it you know, i mean just if the discipline is to do things that you don't want to do i don't want to think i want to get up before and run i don't want to get up and sometimes i get up and run i see guys and i like to hang out i see people in the car they, they party this came from partying and hanging out I'm like, wow <laughs> they look like they're having fun in that car you see a guy with this girl in the back they got crazy and i said god this guy looks like they're having fun and i'm running there's always talk about mike tyson and all the money he's made and when, when you hear and read that stuff, what do you think? Is it that something that you just wish would go away? It was nobody's business, or it really isn't no one's business? And but what the hell? I mean, what can you do? You know what I mean, it's the hardest thing in the world to do is to count someone else's money. The only thing harder, I think, is counting your own. And that, that, that's not too hard. No. <laughs> You can never think, because once you think, you lose time. Now, what was the story behind the, uh, the Rolls-Royce Corniche and the fact that you didn't like your Ferrari? Tell me the story. I mean, that, that's one of those stories you read in the papers. Like, wow. I mean, that's blown out of proportion. This is what happened. Okay. I was riding a car, which was a, a stick. It was a Ferrari, and it was a stick. And I was driving it fast, and I was driving it for a long time, perhaps three hours, and it started idling. And... When it started idling, um, it was upsetting me. You know, you stopped the toll and and I was upset. So I was listening. I said, God, I had my friend at the time. She called the car. They called this place and asked them um, what kind of car they had. And they were telling me what kind of car. And they said, this is how, this is going to be. Um, how, how's the car? How much it cost? All right, um, what? $200,000. It cost $200,000. It's a blue and white rose. I said, well, um, he got to come out with a better deal because I'm hungry as well. And I'm going there and I said, well, it got to be a better deal. I'm not thinking that. I'm really not negotiating. I'm just, just thinking spontaneously. We got to do a better deal. Then I got the price down to what I wanted. Then I just went and I bought the car. And then I just took the Ferrari, um, left the house, and then I went home. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad you told the story because, you know, it's one of those that we had read in the papers and... Never really got a sense of... Because if you get from reading it, you think, oh, this guy's an idiot. What, did he drop his drop a car? You leave this car here, and all right, I take this car. Wow, like some dumb um, psychotic kid. Wow, with cash. Yeah, like Richie Rich. Wow, look at this. 